it's Katie and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own two ingredients line with things you have at home. So let's get started with the things you will be needing. First you would need something to mix with. So I've got this regular just plastic knife and it's not pokey so it won't hurt. Make sure you have your parent supervision if you're using one. I'd recommend using a plastic spoon but we didn't have any plastic spoons. And then I'm go you're going to be needing something to mix on. So I'm using a paper plate. You can use a bowl though. Next, for the actual ingredients, you will need some Elmer's school glue or whatever glue you have. Just it has to be liquid glue, it can't be glue stick glue or it won't work like that. And then you will also be needing some um, toothpaste and then something optional is food coloring but I don't have it with me right now. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to pull the camera down so you can see the plate. Okay, so this is my plate, and I'm going to first be starting off by pouring in a little bit of glue right on one spot. So I'm going to pour my glue right here. So, just pouring the glue on. And then, next, what you want to do is take your, here, hang on, make it so you guys can see better. You want to take your toothpaste and put it a little bit next to it don't put it like right next on top of it you want to put it next to it so the more toothpaste the more slime um, so I'm just gonna add that much right now and I'm gonna add a little bit more glue and then I'm gonna mix it together and then it will start to create some slime so let's now mix this together and we will make our slime. So you can see how it's kind of chunking together. It's starting to make the slime. So it is actually, it actually really works. I have a baggie of it. Um, that I can show you guys later. But you can see it's kind of coming together. So I'm going to add a little bit more toothpaste because it seems like there's not enough slime, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then I think I'm done with my toothpaste, and then I also have to add a little bit more glue just to make sure. Sorry about that, I'm in my bathroom and the kitchen is right next to it. I'm going to add a little bit more glue. So here it is, and I'm going to mix it in together, and then I will create my slime. So. After this, what I did was I let it sit out for a few minutes and then I went ahead and started kneading it with my hands after I let it sit out. So um, I might let this sit out for a few minutes or I might just start kneading it, but I don't know. I think I might let it sit out. I just let it sit out for a couple seconds. So while you're waiting for that to dry, you can just waiting for that to finish. You can just clean up your mess, wipe yourself off, do whatever you need to just to clean yourself up a little bit. And then what I did was I just mixed it in. I think it needs a little bit more glue, so I'm just going to add a little bit more glue. At this point, it really doesn't matter if you add it on top, so I'm just going to add it on top. It, you just couldn't put it on top when you first did. So there we go. And now the slime looks like this. So now that it's like this, I'm actually going to start kneading it together with my hands. So at first it might seem a little wet and sticky like this, but then once you play with it, um, it will get messy. But once you play with it, it will stop getting messy. And then it'll just be like regular slime, but it will still be wet. So what I'd say is try to put it in the freezer for a couple minutes, maybe two, three, or five minutes, um, preferably like two, because you don't know what would happen. I don't know what would happen, but you can see it is actually slime, and it works really well. Um, so, yeah, that is the slime. So remember what I said: just play with it, see how it's. Can, you guys can see like how my fingers are kind of dirty, but. They're just like regular slime, it will absorb the
the slime that is getting on your hands. Your fingers might get a little bit wet, but that's okay. You can just wash it off later. And then, just like regular slime, you would put it in a container or a bowl if you liked it. I'm going to turn mine into a pretty color, but I don't have any food coloring with me right now. So I'm not going to do that right now, but I will show you guys later what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like right now, and I really, really like it. I think it's really cool just to have to use glue and... Um, Toothpaste, you could do the one way with one ingredient with the toothpaste and you put it in the microwave and stuff like that. That's kind of two ingredient slime because that you need toothpaste and you need to put it in the microwave and if you want to you can add laundry detergent or whatever. But I um, I don't make that kind of slime because I just don't like to. I, thought, I think that one is messier than this one. But. Whatever, so you guys can see now that it is nice and slimy. Sorry if you guys hear noises. Um, but anyways, this is the slime all done. And it still needs to sit out for a little bit. And it's still a little bit messy. But anyways, that's it for this video. I'm going to wash my hands off real quick because it's really, really messy. Um, I'm going to wash my hands and then you can, it comes right off once you wash your hands and stuff. But anyways, I will raise the camera up to my length. Thanks for watching. Please go like and subscribe and in the comments down below. Let me know if you like this slime. I personally do. I do think it's a little bit messy, but I do still like it. See you later.